Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Pat Coffee's Zorocca Coffee Beans and I've got a nice little um, card that they send to, to you with each coffee that gives you a little bit of a description on there but we'll take a look at the pack first and it says um, grown by Gilberto Basilio hints of dark chocolate and coca nibs Roast profile is dark and it's got the roasted on, packed on and packed by date um, on there and yeah you get this um, code as well so if you want £5 off your first purchase um, be sure to use my um, code there and there we go consume within 6 weeks of roasted date and that is it for the pack the origin is Brazil so, you take a quick look at the card, it does sort of repeat a little bit with what's on the pack. But, it's got a little bit about it. Gilberto's put a lot, lot of hard work into his coffee, but he knows he has Illicenia, natural terror, to thank in part. He's given back by reforesting massive areas of his farm previously deforested for sugarcane by other farmers and I've um, circled the roast there because it's described as a dark roast but you'll see in a minute that it doesn't look much like a dark roast the process is natural the sweetness is toffee acidity is apple and the mouthfeel is creamy rich dark chocolate flavours are intensified by notes of Coca nibs and apple like acidity balances the toffee sweetness perfectly, all wrapped up with a creamy mouthfeel. And contact information there for PAP. And I will add links in the description below for anyone who's interested in taking a look at their website. So let's take a look at the beans. Quite small in size, but as you can see, it doesn't look much like a dark roast. Um, and the aroma of the beans is chocolatey and it's really earthy it's biscuity or more accurately it's got a kind of rye vita hint to it and there's a slight fruitiness there too but decent enough looking beans so we'll take a quick look at the ground coffee and when ground it's basically the same just slightly more vibrant uh, but overall it's a very smooth aroma to this coffee very orange in colour so taste wise it's really smooth and quite delicate and subtle in flavour it's got very subtle hints of chocolate, toffee and biscuit it's creamy though and has a nice medium body to it. It doesn't cope well with milk though, so I was drinking this black or almost black. Any substantial amount of milk really killed the flavour for me, turning it into a sort of Horlicks type taste. There's no bitterness there, but it's got a creeping acidity from the middle to the finish, but it adds a little bit of interest to it. So the apple acidity mentioned on the pack is quite accurate. It's a nice enough coffee that I enjoyed. It's just a little bit mild for my taste, but it's good quality as usual from Packed. So I'll give it a score of 3.5 out of 5. If you like a mild, creamy, delicate taste in coffee, this may be for you. If you like coffee with a kick, this will be one to pass on, I would say. So I would really like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee or any of the other pack coffees. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick review. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.